Hi, welcome back to tasting whiskey during a pandemic after a tornado in the dark because I didn't have power for four days and now I do, but I like being in the dark because these are dark times, dark times, but also light times because we have the little things to get us through. For me, it's talking to myself by candlelight in front of a roaring fire while sipping on a whiskey. Also, um, the fact that Andrew Lloyd Webber is releasing like every musical he ever made for us to watch at home. And that, that might be just the best thing ever. I mean, it's not quite the same as going to see the show, but I'll take it. So I'm hoping, focus. Um, the last time I did this without using my forward facing camera, cause I was like, just gonna keep upping the production quality. Uh, no, that was not what happened. Instead, what happened was that I was out of focus the whole time. Uh, and I thought, could we do that? Or, since this is not scripted, I would just let it be. So, I let it be. And haven't posted that yet way behind on posting things because I thought I would edit them and then I remembered I have ADHD and I like to start projects and not finish them. So this will be interesting because I'm going to hold this up. This is number 14. And then we have to make sure it focuses on me. Don't focus on the 14. Um, from my whiskey advent calendar that yes I'm finally getting to in April but you know just shows that my coping mechanism during the rest of the year is not alcohol and now it is, but not like in the way you would think. My coping me mechanism is alcohol in that I would like to taste it and talk about it to myself. Hmm. Now, as always, because I'm doing this by candlelight, uh, I have scented candles going, which does affect <laughs> everything about this. Um, it's the same ones as always, which is like a weird like espresso one and some sort of lemon something but they're kind of far away and it hasn't really affected things much thus far but who knows maybe it's affecting everything maybe it's changing the flavor of all of this stuff and all of this is just nonsense could be because that is some fruity smelling fruitness right there um which is interesting let's see i i sw swirled this with water to clear it out and there didn't quite get all the water. So Ooh, it's a little bit of a heavy pour. Oh no, don't get away. Ooh. The nice thing about this is that what with the COVID and all, I know that this was sent to me long before all that was a worry. So I can lick that bottle and be fine. I mean, I'm not, well, I did, but I'm not going to like lick it, lick it. I did just wash my hands. Don't worry about me, because I've been doing the wiping everything down, staying sanitized, social distancing, trying to go out as little as possible. You know, the whole nine yards. Because that, we're all in this together, as people keep saying, cliche, cliche, but you know, I don't want to get anyone sick. My whole thing is hopefully a little bit of, I don't, I mean, I don't want to die, but if I get sick, and don't die, and I'm just really inconvenienced, I'm okay with that, but I would not like to potentially cause someone else's death. What have we got here? Interesting. Hmm. I'm getting more of that fruity, fruity, fruity gumdrop. Hmm. That's a little bit more astringent than what I've been having. Man, I'm afraid to make any guesses because I've been so wrong on everything so far. Mm. I mean, I like whiskey, so generally I'm like, I like it. It's not peaty. I'm going to say younger. Oh, I didn't even do my fantastic back of my insurance thing. Did I flash everyone my address? Hopefully not. Um, 
Let's look at that delightful color. Let's let me look at that delightful color. Oh no, it's too dark. Okay, I'll just hold it up to the candle. Lighter, younger. I'm getting like the, the wood of the barrel. So I'm gonna go with oak. That's usually, I'm usually wrong. Uh, a little bit grassy. But then I've been working in the garden all day. So I sometimes wonder if it's just that what I've been doing affects how, what I taste. If, Cause all of this is subjective and it's just like, do you like it? Do you not like it? This again, this is one that I like. I can, I can drink. The last two have been like not knocked out of the park home runs. This one is good drinking whiskey. A little bit, it's got that tangy vinegary like youthfulness. They keep saying spicy for that on the tasting notes. And I'm like, it's not spicy. That's just youthful energy. Give me a little bit of my water. I do love my little crystal water pitcher, even though it's got way more, you know, water than you really need. This all depends on how it hits your tongue, I think, because I definitely, every time I taste something, it just hits the tip of my tongue. I get whatever kind of sweetness, sweet notes are to it. Um, I'm gonna be shifting around here because I moved 36 cubic yards, cubic yards, cubic feet of earth today because I'm planning my victory garden in the hopes that I will be able to feed myself after the apocalypse comes. I probably should be saving my whiskey for after the apocalypse. Hmm, this one is quite medicinal. It almost has seems to have some sort of cloviness or almost like that that gin taste, that uh, licorice taste from certain gins. Not a big licorice person, but I do like my gin. When I'm when I'm not drinking whiskey, I'm I'm drinking gin. Um, I mean, I do other things than that are not drinking. You know, all things in moderation, including moderation. I'm gonna go with young, oaky, some sort of medicinal something, a little bit of like grassy earthiness, some sweet notes, a little bit of like, you know, caramel at the beginning. It reminds me kind of of a, a talisker I had, but without like, it, talisker had a peatiness. It was when I was on the Isle of Skye, um, got that whiskey, but, if you took that peatiness out of it, it would have a similar flavor to this. But I'm gonna, I'm actually thinking this is younger and American, which means that I'm wrong because the last two I thought were definitely either blended or scotch and they were American. So, ooh, I'm gonna go Japanese. Japanese on this one. But let's see how wrong I am. Let's go to the cards. So, you get to look at the pretty design first, then I get to look at the, oh, what's hiding inside. So there's a play on Hyde, so maybe it is Scotch, because Hyde, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, very Edinburgh story. So this is called Hyde Irish Whiskey. I guessed every other country possible almost. I should have just started listing off random countries. In doing some research as I've put this together, Douglas Hyde was the name of the first president of Ireland, and also it's the family name of the distillers, who are the first in their line not to own a pub in many generations. So there's where the name comes from, not tied to the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. at all. Single grain Irish whiskey, hide, six year old, number three, the, oh no, an A with an accent. Aris cask, I, I cannot pronounce any Gaelic or Gallic. Ooh, gotta make sure this thing keeps focusing on me. Focus here, I just hit my own forehead. What's, what's wrong with me? So they say 
malted barley, coffee, spicy, see, this is spicy, that's just the, you think, pepper, ginger, caramel, nougat, chili, creamy vanilla. I said like none of those things. So just goes to show you, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I like it. I like it definitely with a little hint of water. The, the water mellows it out a little bit more. And, you know, I look at this and I say, well, I get kind of that nougat. I, I get it when they say it. But that sweetness, like it runs into that astringency, which I guess they're saying is pepper and spice and chili. It runs into that real quick. Yeah, I get it. I'm just not even going to. I did get young though. It's only six years old. Six, six years old. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't come here because I know what I'm talking about. I haven't even posted the last couple of videos. So who knows when this will go up. My fire's dying down because I made a small one because it's late. Because I was binge watching Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> work in my garden and also been worrying about you know the world trying to get things done for my job I've been cuddling up with my dog because that's the only warm living breathing creature I can touch is this whole six foot I've, I've decided that you know I think the next time I go out I'm just gonna get a, a good old-fashioned hoop skirt that'll keep people away because it was very disappointing when I was trying to just no contact pick up some dirt for the garden so that again can do my own agriculture and not have to go to the store for a while because well obviously the plants have to grow but once they're grown then i'll have spinach and tomatoes and squash and courgettes or as you say in this country zucchini which is italian courgette is french we don't have an english word for green sausage green vegetable sausage that's the english word Goodbye, zucchini, so long, courgette. Green vegetable sausage is here to stay. And on that note, Slanjiva, pretty good, pretty good little whiskey here. And you know, I get it from Flaviar, who don't pay me anything. I, I pay them for the pleasure of having whiskey. So that's why I have all these nice, neat little vials. If you wanna give it a try, that'd be cool. There's a, there's a link somewhere.